I'm here with Jamji Bunson, a good friend from over 10 years ago when we visited Bunson Farm. And you have been doing this for over 40 years and you have a wonderful array of products. So we're very happy to reconnect with you again. Yes, I do too. How were you inspired to get involved in the very first time with algae? I'm, I'm a planktologist. I work in water. So I found my, my spirulina in my sample. Oh. But at that time, in around 1967, nobody knows about spirulina yet, except the European scientists that have investigated Africa and they found it at Lake Chad. Our government want to find something that can grow in the arid lands in the northeastern part of Thailand. No, I can grow in the Salai water. So I submit the project to them. And I got support from FAO, from USAID, and later from our princess, Jurapon. Now, how large is your spirulina farm now? 80,000 square meters. Do you sell more of your product with your own brand in Thailand, or do you export? We do export to countries allow us here uh, and also to oversee like um, in America, in Europe. When you look back, what would you say were the biggest challenges that you faced? The first thing is to prove that my technique can work in mass production. When we come to business, the first challenge thing is how to educate my workers to understand the hygienic way of producing. Mm -hmm. So I invite many public health people come to educate them. You've developed an amazing array of products and I tried some when I visited you in 2010. Now, do you have some interesting new products? No, we try to educate people that spirulina is not only the health food, it is the food that you can take it every day. We do ice cream, we do cookies. From now on, we try to educate people that spirulina is food. We use fresh spirulina to make food. Do you sell fresh spirulina all by itself? Yeah, it is very good, really, really tasty. Well, I remember when we came to your farm, it was like algae tourism. How's it feel on your face? It feels great. <laughs> Are you still doing that, inviting the public to come and giving them a whole tour? Yes, we opened that. We call it Spruna Eco Tour, but that stopped after COVID. So we just closed our farm. Will you reopen the farm for eco tourism? Yes. If you talk to students today, what would your advice be about getting involved with microalgae like spirulina? Now there are more and more students interested in plantologists. They have to love first. I love to look through my microscope to see really beautiful living things. You have to love them first, then you will take care. And also I'm able to teach people, come to my farm to study how to grow spirulina and I'm glad to teach them. Well, when you look at spirulina globally, do you see it taking any direction over the next five years or so? Now we try to produce frozen one, fresh one, powder one. We like people all over the world to use spirulina as daily food. Whenever I have a chance, to play in my Buddhism abbot. I used to play that. Please make people understand spirulina. Make me able to produce spirulina for the whole world, yes. And what do you think is the major health benefit for people? They will keep doctor's bills away. That's <laughs> <laughs> like me. I don't have to pay doctor bills because at 81 years old, I still strong enough, yes. Yeah. It's a pleasure to talk to you again.
I want to thank you very much. Yeah.